What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this um, exercise, we're going to add switches for the lighting switches and the receptacles in your project. Okay, so the procedure for placing switches and receptacles is the same as for placing any hosted components in Revit. Okay, and also if you want to avail the same exercise files that I'm using right now. So you can go check out the video description so you can avail from there. Or you can also use your project to apply this video. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just making sure that I'm on level 2 lighting plan. So I'm just going to zoom in to this area here. So I want to place a lighting switch. Okay, so I'm going to zoom into this area and then I'm going to select uh, systems. Okay, so systems tab. And then after that, you go to the electrical and then let's look for devices. Since I want a lighting switch, so I'll just select here's, here lighting. Just click that one. And then from the properties, you can see wall occupancy sensor regular voltage passive infrared 277 volts so you can also click the drop down arrow so you can see the other types of lighting switches that you can use so for me i'll just use this one and since this is a wall hosted family so i want to make sure here on my placement that Place on vertical face is selected. So just make sure that one is selected. And then after that, just hover your pointer to the right side of the wall where you want to place it. And then just click that one. And also I want to place another one. So let's say I want to place it somewhere here. There you go. And then I'll just select here, modify. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, if I want to see this in 3D view, so I can click one of the switch and then look for selection box or you can also type bx for that and then just click outside right click zoom to fit and then you will now be able to see the switch that we just placed so i can click the section box and then i can adjust it all right and you you notice that the architectural model here is in gray Okay, so that's because the discipline here is either set to mechanical or electrical or plumbing. So if you want to highlight the architectural as well, you can select either architectural or coordination. So let's say I select architectural and there you go. So you will also see the architectural model, right? Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place junction boxes. So let me just go back again to my lighting to uh, level 2 lighting plan. And then let's place some electrical fixture uh, junction box. Okay. So I'm going to select systems again, systems tab, and then uh, device. So let's select here electrical fixture. So let's click that one and then drop down arrow. Okay, so let's look for junction box that is no load. Okay, so it's not here on my current project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load it. So to do that, just go to the insert tab and then after that, look for load Autodesk family. Just click that. And then you will be going to the cloud, <clears throat> Autodesk Cloud, and then you just need to type here. So by default, it looks like this. So you'll be able to see all the families. If you want to do it specifically, just type here. Okay, so just type, let's say junction. Okay, and then enter. And then you'll be able to see here your junction boxes. So let's say I don't want to show any load on my junction boxes. So there's a family for that, which is this one. So junction boxes, no load. So just click that and then load family. Okay, so it's now loaded. So let's go back to the systems and then device, electrical fixture, and then it's now there. 
okay so i'm going to place it like uh, somewhere here so this is a non-hosted family so by default if you place your junction box by default the elevation is zero so basically it's on the floor so you can specify here the height or you can change that later on so let's say i can change that later on so i'll just put it here there you go and then i'll select your modify again i want to see this in 3d view so i will click that junction box and then select selection box and there you go okay so like what i've said it's on the floor so i'm gonna click this i want to adjust it like that okay so i can type so i can type the distance or the offset height just click that one and then change the distance here the offset from host so let's say uh, nine feet and then i select apply and there you go it's now there okay or you can also use align tool so make sure it's selected and then look for align just click that one and then let's select the underside of the ceiling and then select let's say the top there you go and then you can select here modify all right so i can select this one and then after that i can add a mark here so let's put a mark so let's say that will be my jb as in junction box one no load and then apply so that's the name of that one and if you click that you can also check the number of poles here it's one the voltage is 230 and then you can also go to the type properties you click edit type and then you can you can see here that there is no load so zero volt ampere because that family is no load so i'll just select here okay right so the next thing that i'm gonna do here is uh let me just show you another way of viewing all the families electrical families in your project so let's say your lighting switches or your electrical fixtures okay so one way to do that is using your system browser so you just right click blank space right click and then look for browsers and then you see system browser just click that one and then here's now your switch uh, your system browser and then you can see here the name of the project okay so you have two folder here so one an assigned folder and then the other one is electrical folder electrical folder you can see here all the electrical elements that is already part of the system okay so it's already on the electrical system and then you also have here an assigned folder wherein you have 45 items that is not yet assigned to a system okay so if i click let's say this one here let's click this so you can see it highlights here on my electrical folder so that means this receptacle is already part of the system so let's expand this one and then let's uh, click again and that one so it's highlighted so it's under the power uh, system okay right so that's how you use your system browser so if you click one so you will be able to verify that it's under the electrical system so now you can also modify the columns that you can that you want to show on your system browser okay so to do that you can click this icon here column settings click that one and then you can expand electrical you can see here that i already checked distribution system voltage and load classification so if you want to add other categories here to show on the system browser you can check that boxes okay you can also check let's say general so i already select size space name number and number of elements to show on my system browser so like okay all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add 
some electrical uh, fixture. So let's say I'm going to change my view. So instead of lighting plan, power design. So I will select here level 2 power. So let's double click that to open. Okay, so here just going to zoom in. So let's say I want to place a duplex receptacle. Okay, so to do that, so let's go to structure. Oh, I mean to systems tab. And then electrical fixture again. Let's click that one and then let's change the properties. Let's go to the duplex receptacle standard. This one. So I want, just make sure the placement is set to vertical uh, vertical face place on vertical face so you can put that on your wall because this family is a uh, uh, face based family okay so let's put one here okay and then I'm gonna put another one here and then you can also see that it highlights here on my system browser so meaning this is already placed under the unassigned folder so let's expand that one so let's expand expand that one okay and then i'm going to add another one here so device electrical fixture make sure duplex receptacle is selected so i'm going to place one here there you go so it's added here as well so i have these two receptacle here okay and then i'm going to select modify of course i can still select this one and then use the move tool here if i want to move it uh, manually like that okay so another way to do that is you can select the family or just zoom out a bit and then select the family and then you can see here the temporary dimension so you can change that so just click that and then you can type the distance so let's say 12 feet and then enter there you go okay so let's say i want to add uh, three more receptacles here so another way of placing a family aside from going to the systems and then selecting the tool here so i can also select the family that i want to recreate and to place again so just click one and then right click and then you can see here the option create similar just click that one and then it will create the same family so just hover your pointer to the wall since that's a wall hosted and then you click there you go and then i'll select here modify to terminate so i can copy this i'll select this one and then use the copy tool and then make sure multiple is selected constraint is checked so i'm going to pick the base point here so the distance that i want just move your pointer down and then you can type the distance so 12 feet 12 and then move again then type 12 enter and select modify all right okay so again it's now added here on our system browser okay so next is i'm going to place a floor hosted uh, duplex receptacle so how to do that so how to do that just click again the family that you want right click and create similar by the way you can also type cs to use the create similar tool how to do that just click and then type cs that's the shortcut for create similar and there you go okay and then you will now be able to place it. So let's say you want to place that along the grid. Okay, let's say somewhere here. Or here, you see, just place it like that. Then place another one here. And then place another one here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so before you do that, okay so i made a mistake so i'm going to select modify here and then select this and then delete delete okay so i want a floor base so i'm going to select that okay so create similar i can type cs okay so on the placement so make sure place on face is selected not vertical face i only select vertical face if i want that to put on a vertical face like walls 
Now, if I want to put that on the floor, so I will select here place on face. So just click that and there you go. So you are now able to place it on the face. So let's say I want that here. I want that here. And then I want somewhere here. There you go. Then select here modify. So if I want that to see in 3D view, so I can click one, hold control, and then select the other electrical fixture and then again just select selection box click that orbit and there you go okay so those are your uh electrical fixtures okay so you can adjust like that adjust okay there you go so those are the electrical fixtures that we have placed and they are all added here on our system browser okay so that's it for this simple exercise on our next video we are going to create lighting circuits and i'm going to show you how to show the wire okay so that's it thank you for watching have a nice day